I'm Martin Comston, and this is Norway. I'm back on the road with my good pal, Bill McHugh. Norway, we have arrived. We're getting to know Scotland's closest Scandi cousins better. <laughs> By exploring this epic country northwards to its very tip. Thank you. Is this the end of Europe? Uncovering our shared identities. Look at the size of that one. Interwoven histories. You could have been good Vikings, definitely. And things we don't share at all. Want a shot? Yeah, why not? So join us as we journey through the fjords and take on the Nords. <laughs> on a spectacular Norwegian fling. This time, we're experiencing some eclectic cultural offerings as we make our way to Norway's northern capital of cool, Trondheim where we'll dish up the very best in Nordic cuisine. Turnip? Turnip. Turnip. Oh, cheese. Yeah. And make a mark on Throndheim's death metal scene. <laughs> yeah, we got it, man. We'll also finally get a swatch of that Scandi sauna culture in Molda. <laughs> <laughs> but before all that, let's have a wee bit more of that gorgeous Norwegian scenery, shall we? James Bond roads. What was it? No time to die. This was the car chase road. Look at this. No, I have to say, this is the one time I am absolutely ecstatic that you don't drive. This is one of the world's most stunning roads. And this famously is the road to nowhere. The cantilevered Storsaisuna Bridge. Amazing. Favourite James Bond, go. I like Piers Bronson. Brosnan. Brosnan. <laughs> Piers Bronson, yeah. Brosnan. Brosnan? Uh, you said Bronson. Bronson, how'd you say it? Brosnan. Yeah. What about you? You know what? Who's your favourite? The Patriot in me would obviously say Sir Sean, but I love Daniel Craig. I thought he was a brilliant Bond. Robert has it, you know, the, you know you're in the running, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had a call? Unfortunately not. I'd love to be a Bond villain at some oh, point. Oh, would you? Villains are more fun. This place would look amazing on Instagram. Do you expect me to stop, Phil? No, Mr. Comston. I expect you to drive! Psychonic, isn't it? Oh, there he is. Still <laughs> <laughs> with Pierce Bronson. <laughs> <laughs> With senses suitably shaken and stirred, it's onwards to Throndheim. But with a wee stop off in the lovely little fjord city of Molde, on the shores of the Romsdal Fjord. Right, Phil, we've yet to toast our toes in one of Scandinavia's most famous of exports. It's a tabasto time, literally to take a sauna. The Finnish like there's wet, the Swedes like there's dry, and the Norwegians? Hello. Hi. I love that awkwardness when you first come into your sauna. Apparently, a bit of both. They like nothing better than a warm sauna followed by an invigorating dip. And these floating hot houses are, well, hot stuff with the locals. You've got a bit of your tan. Mm, months of travelling. All right, you're travellers? Yeah. Official travellers. We've been travelling. Yeah. What is it you guys do? I'm a nurse. A nurse? Yeah. Okay. Working on my local hospital here. What about yourself? I'm a medical doctor, okay. so also at the local hospital. Would you come into the saunas often? I try to go once a week. Yeah? I try to go maybe every second week. Right. It's strange because in our country, you know, it's Scotland is very cold as well. So it's very yeah. similar to you guys, but we don't have the sauna culture no. at all. When does the sauna culture start for you? So the question is rather, when do you start to jump in the cold water? <laughs> you learn to, to, to dive in cold water quite early, and then sauna is a bonus. You have the rule of uh, being 15 minutes in, right. and then you have to go out and take a swim. You shouldn't skip it. Oh, let's flick it. Let's get going. Jumping in the water, um, your brain kind of uh, shuts out uh, any, everything else. It's sort of like you just washed away some worries and uh, you're not as stressed as you were when you arrived and 
I like that part a lot. Yeah, it's an escapism, isn't it, really? You can say that it's a sort of an escapism, but it, it sort of lasts. It, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't pass over, so afterwards you are less stressed, you're less tense. You sort of sort it out of the things you've thought of that day. And medically, it's good for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. You feel a lot better for it. It's just the anticipation of it. If you jump in the water now, it's going to be awesome. I'm not sure if I am. I've seen some jellyfish out there. You know, going in. I'd rather just, you know, sit here in the heat, soak up that view. <laughs> that view's going to be my bare arse. Oh, well, I'll get it. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> is there any other rules? Is, is there like an etiquette? Because I went to a sauna in, I think it was in Germany, and everybody was butt naked. And I, I was kind of thinking, is that a Scandi thing? In these uh, public saunas, you commonly don't go naked. Yeah. So I believe the Finnish do, though. Yeah. Yeah. What's the kind of branches? What are they for? It is for toga parties. Right. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> you dip it in the water, yeah. okay. and you, of course you splash water on the, the oven yeah. so that the air gets, it gets hotter. Yeah. But you also, uh, you can yeah. kind of slap. slap Slap your back with some uh, some cold water. There was a whack of it. It's actually quite cold. Oh, it's cold. Mate, it's not pretty. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out. I'm not sure that's the etiquette they were talking about. That's our 15 minutes up. Right, let's get into that fjord. Right, what's the crack? Then we're going for it. Go. Are we going for the roof? I mean, I, it's weird because your your body's all tingly. It was a buzz. It wasn't as cold as I thought it was going to be. I love the run of the jump. It was freezing. <laughs> yeah. This is definitely one of the things that I'd like to take back to Scotland. Yeah. Let's put more sauras by the sea in Scotland. The sauna. Yeah. Smashed it. What? Oh, left your hanging there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, mate. I'm ready to go after that. Great. Just four hours and we'll be in Tron time. Plenty of time for my favourite car game, Phil Facts. Did you know that the Finnish claim to have invented the sauna? Interesting. But we're not in Finland. What have the Norwegians ever done for us? That's the thing about Scots. We invented a lot, didn't we? Yeah, we gave yeah. the world many items and inventions. Telephone, penicillin, yeah, TV, well, people arguing. And Norway seemed to have a bit of one-up man chip on us and a lot of stuff so far. Like, they seem to get a lot right, but what they invented. Here we go. Number one, the cheese <laughs> slicer. <laughs> number one. That was number no, one. that can't be number one, surely. Cheese slicer <laughs> was invented way back in 1925 by Thor Jorlund and has become a staple of all Scandinavian kitchens and all around the world. Number two is an aerosol can. Number three, and I love this one because I know the story behind it, is salmon sushi. It was the Norwegians that went to Japan uh -huh. and gave the idea of selling salmon uh, as sushi. Really? How cool is that? That is pretty cool. I mean, you do like your sushi. I like that fact. Good fact. Finally, we're in Trondheim, the old Viking capital of Norway. More Vikings? No Vikings, just vibes. It's got a young population thanks to over 36,000 students, which makes it a really buzzing city. Nice. So apart from the weather, it's not so grim up north. Far from it. And part of this is reflected in a strong culture for mixing local food with innovative ideas. <sighs> posh nosh. Now, Trondheim is the foodie capital of Norway. It's got three Michelin star restaurants, which is a lot. 
a city is the size of like Aberdeen, right? In terms of population, and Aberdeen doesn't have any Michelin star restaurants. This place has got three. We're going to a restaurant called Credo, and I think it's been around for about 20 years. And the chef Heidi Birkin is the only Michelin star chef in Norway. And amazingly, we're going to have a shot in our kitchen. I don't have the most eclectic palate when it comes to sort of oysters and things, caviar. I'm just hoping there's a, a decent bit of meat, decent bit of veg, I'll get stuck in. Well, Martin, you're in luck. Trondheim is part of Trondelag County, known as Norway's larder, renowned for its super fertile soil that makes all their lovely veg grow slower and sweeter. And it sounds like a chef's paradise. Wow. I mean, that's not intimidating at all, is it? It's some place. Hello. Hi. Oh, hi. Nice hi to meet you. Phil, lovely hi to meet you. Hi, hi Dave. Martin, nice to meet yeah. you. How are you doing? You all right? Yeah. I'm very excited about today. Yeah, me as well. Oh, good. Yeah. How are you feeling today? I'm a wee bit nervous. I am not the best cook. No, but no. we will teach you. I was thinking you're going to make the family meal. So this family meal, to give it, it's the staff, right, before yeah, yeah. you start serving. That's yeah. what that means, right? Yeah. So everyone uh, is together. Like yeah. uh, half an hour and just uh, have a small talk and eat good yeah. and be prepared for the... Before you go to battle. Yeah, yeah, so no all... pressure. No, no, no pressure, pressure at all. Heidi has gained a reputation for food sustainability and for promoting traditional food cultures of the Trondelag region, which I'm hoping we'll get to experience. You're not just any chef, are you? You're Norway's first female Michelin-starred chef. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, that's that's wow. correct. And we have the first sustainable award from the Michelin Guide ever. Wow. So that's, oh, do you? Yeah, ever. Oh, wow. So that's is that the oh, really yeah. yeah. Wow. This is a, this is the first one ever. That's phenomenal. Yeah, Congratulations. It is. Yeah, that's thank amazing you so achievement. Much. How do, how do we look? Yeah. Do we look the part? Yeah, you do. Do you make toasties or that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're going to prepare like our traditional soup from this area. We're also going to make uh, meatballs to have in the soup. It's also the carrot. I will show you how okay. we can do it. And I think we do it like this, and uh, it's yeah, quite it. big. Yeah, let's do it. Fine. I can do that. Yeah. Perfect? Yeah, I can do Go that. Heidi, I heard a pretty incredible fact about you. What? You were the personal chef to the royal family. Yeah, I've been that for uh, some years, yeah. That's true. How did that come about? <laughs> uh, by uh, coincidence. I, I didn't apply for the job, but uh, they asked me, and um, finally I said yes. Yeah. So it was like every wow. day you cook them food every yeah, day? Yeah, not every day. Yeah. I mean, they can, they can cook, cook themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's the best job you can uh, dream yeah. about. So you're actually pals with the king? Pals, I, I will not say. He's, he's the king. Yeah, I mean, he's I, king. Yeah, but, yeah. But, yeah, but, yeah. What's up, friends? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you, do you just throw these? This one we use for compost. Oh, you use them for, oh, for the garden? Do yeah. you grow food here as yeah. well? Yeah, we do. Impressive. Can someone help me? To... So you're pouring a half? Yeah, this is like a, well, it's like a stock, is it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I think it's, you should try it. Just a spoon up yeah. there and you can okay. try it. Do the chefy thing. What are you doing? You try it. Oh. Oh, wow. Did you enjoy Even it? The stock's beautiful. Carrots are done. Well done, sir. What's next? Yeah, we're going to make the meatballs. What's it like having all these young chefs? Do you feel a big responsibility to them? Do you feel no, a pride? No, I don't feel it at all. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone who's applying uh, for Credo are aware of what, what we are doing, and that's maybe why they want to come and work with us. Oh, yeah. We have, like, people from India, we have from uh, Panama, we have New wow. Zealand. So we have people from... All over. Road. Yeah, and they can also highlight my thoughts out in the world as well. Uh -huh. I always want them to go... Out of the torch. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you just roll it in this. I see, I kind of like that. I don't like the texture. Squishy in your hands. I don't like raw meat in my hands. Like, see, touching chicken. And we'd eat. Is that all right? That's beautiful. Thank you. Maybe we should go and see some of the dishes we make at Willow. So, here is the brown cheese. Okay. And we have some other things here. You have to tell us about this. Yeah. Phil's this fun fact. My of the fun day. fact the cheese slicer. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of your top three things ever yeah, invented yeah, yeah, in the world. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Pull it back. 
Yeah. That's what's clever about it. It's yes. not like, a, yeah, I thought that was a bit. OK, let's try it. It's, uh, it's made of goat milk. <laughs> it's a farm oh, uh, wow. farther north. It's very nice. Yeah, it's super nice. Get you there. Mm. Really tingly. And what, what is this? Let me guess. Potato. Gross. Turnip? Turnip. Oh, I thought it was cheese. Yeah. This is a really nice turnip yeah. from one of our farmers. Uh, we use it quite lots in Norway, but lots of places in the world, they use it uh, for animal food. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, but it's also super nice, so we will try to make it uh, exclusive. So do you re revisit a lot of the traditions? Yeah, we try at last, uh, at least to highlight them. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, herring is like poor man's uh, food. Same uh, with this. Herring yeah. is one of the things uh, we survived. Uh -huh. in, in Norway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, it's, it's sustainable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, it gave us money um, over 100 years ago. Right, yeah. yeah. It was like the silver of Norway. Yeah. Such a young team Heidi has in her kitchen, including Leva, who started here as an apprentice. What's your title in the kitchen? Uh, I'm the head chef in Credo. Head chef, so you're the gaffer. You're the boss. All right. <laughs> oh, this looks magnificent. What were you preparing here? So this is uh, herring aged in barrels for 12 months. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, so it's really, really tasty. Have you tried the uh, herring before? I'm not massive on fish, but oh, yeah. if there's going to try it somewhere, this is the place to try yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You will love it. Okay. I promise you. Yeah. Here we have uh, the potato bread. Potato scones. Potato scones, scones at home. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, OK. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, similar. So you yeah, have similar, this, yeah. yeah. How do you uh, make it? Oh, I mean, I, I make it. Fry the arse off. Oh, you fry OK. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see. <laughs> it's like art. OK. Shall we? Slanja. Slanja. <laughs> Skål. Skål, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's got a sharpness that hits Very you. Very sharp, yeah. Tangy. No, you like a uh, herring. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, yeah. With the sour cream yeah. and the bread yeah. and potato under it, maybe, yeah. <laughs> It must be amazing for you having oh, yeah. a, a mentor. Yeah, like absolutely. Heidi. And I mean, I started it when I was yeah, 17? just yeah, <laughs> 17, yeah. And, wow. yeah, seven yeah. years ago. Yeah. And uh, I mean, yeah, this is everything that I've I've learned. And yeah. I mean, now my heart is burning for it as well. Heidi says you're not allowed to leave, though. No, but she is the future. Yeah. yeah, she is. That was a proper treat. You did well, by the way. Thanks, Phil. Anyway. Soup's ready, proper hearty grub, and it's our turn for service. Would you like to try some? Yeah, I would like to try some. Let's try. <laughs> Thank My you so pleasure. much. pleasure. Thank Ooh. you so much. Yeah. Carrots? Yes, please. Do you like the veg you or the meat? Yourself bread. Hi. Oh, there's a big chunk Thank right you. there. You got lucky there, man. Phil, get it together. What? For the gaffer. Oh. The boss is here. <laughs> What's your presentation? You've not been very good so far, so... It looks really nice. Thank you so You're much. so welcome. Cheers. The meatballs are lovely. I have a feeling that uh, it's lots of similarities uh, between uh, Scotland and Norway. Yeah. The further north we go, the more that we're reali realising that too. Mm. And especially when it comes to food. Yeah. The same yeah. traditions of yeah. land and sea. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're surrounded by it, so why not embrace it? Mm. How do we encourage... Mr. Martin Cobbson here to get in the kitchen work. Just start jump cooking. into it. But I think you're a fast learner, aren't you? You think so? Yeah. <sighs> don't build his ego. No, but uh, don't, don't, it's just uh, don't be afraid. I think you will uh, like it. But this has been wonderful. It's so not what I expected. This just feels really friendly. This is really the friendly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. amazing. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Skull, everyone. Skull. Skull. <laughs> She was amazing, by the way. She was. She was brilliant. It's that sustainability thing again, isn't it? Like, using no waste, reusing everything and getting the most out of whatever animal or the local produce, growing their own food. And I couldn't believe how young that kitchen was. Incredible. Talented bunch of people. We're really getting to know this country now. Yeah, it's funny, because even when we're talking to Norwegian people, like, you went where? Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's always the same. Yeah. You don't really know what's in your doorstep. No, exactly. Well, we're on a way to get down with the kids in Tron Time's thriving music scene. Down with the kids? Really? Let's get in the mood. Should we go to a happy place? Yes, let's go to a very happy place. This the happy is place. going to be electric. See what you bring in me, boys. Priceless. I gotta be out of my mind. I can try this.
I'm so excited. We're going to meet a local band, and apparently we can even be on stage during the performance. Saxophone? Norwegian jazz? Nice. Nope, most definitely not Norwegian jazz. This is actually one of Norway's biggest cultural exports, an entire genre of music. Yeah, black metal, which had its fair share of controversy here in the 1990s. Thankfully, local band Hypermass have promised not to sacrifice us. Aye, we're grabbing a word with guitarist Sindra and vocalist Marcus. I'm not worried about them, but I'm worried about you. Don't worry, I got this. I'll disarm them with my metal music know-how. Hey, boys, how are you? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello, man. Nice to meet you. Marcus. Marcus. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you, man. How are you? Martin, pleasure. Man. Marcus, pleasure. That was epic. It's intense, man. Yeah, yeah. It's intense. It's great. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I first uh, noticed that heavy metal music was big in Scandinavia when Lordy won Eurovision, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, for Finland. I remember, yeah. It was a big scene here. The uh, biggest big... festival in Norway is a hard rock metal festival. Oh, is it? Uh, which is in Oslo next month. What yeah. makes it so popular here in Norway? It's a lot to do, to do with the black metal scene in, in, in the 90s, I think. Yeah. Right? yeah. This was much more of a shock factor uh, back in the days, so, and uh, more provocative uh, stuff, you know? Because there is this image like metal in the 90s, that it was kind of dark and satanic and stuff. Do you still kind of get that label? And... I think there's uh, basically impossible to be a Norwegian metal band without being associated with the black metal scene, you know? Uh -huh. We try to have stuff from other genres, you know? Experimentation is quite important to, to get the genre moving forward, you know? What's the kind of lyrics like? What, what's it? Is it? Is it? Is it love songs? Is it like aggressive? What is it? Uh, we tend to write more of a, like um, yeah. dystopian themes. Yeah. yeah. Um, about you know our future in technology and AI and stuff like that. <laughs> okay. So no love no, songs. No, 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 no. And tell me, what can we expect tonight? It's going to be high it's energy. It's going to be a mosh pit. Yeah, it's going to be some mosh pit. Yeah. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my best <laughs> to get a mosh pit going. So I'm excited. Yeah, I'm, yeah, like I'm, I didn't like I went. Mm. I'm, I'm kind of into it. You're joining yeah. in. What? Will you do the screaming bit? Will we do the? How do you do, how do you do it? Like, what? You want to do it really low? Yeah, I can low. do it really yeah, yeah. low. Okay, low really low. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, when you're, when you're coughing, like... <coughs> <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What was that? <coughs> <coughs> yeah, you got it, man. You're ready to go. He's not. <laughs> <coughs> you're going to nail it if you want. <coughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to be interesting. Yeah. This is going to be brilliant. Wow. I mean, that must be a buzz. It must be great fun. Yeah, it's it's great fun. Yeah. It is. That's why we do it. All right. Looks like we're up, mate. Wish I brought some eyeliner. Hello. Backstage banter. Hey. 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 Here we go. Hey. So what happens backstage? I like it here. This is where we all get excited. Do you have any warm-ups or anything? No, not really. Not vocal warm-up. La, 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 la. Uh, <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Please don't take this the wrong way. Like, these are the nicest guys ever. I thought you'd all be like in dungeons yeah. and masks and sort of. <laughs> it's a lot of common misconceptions about yeah. uh, metal people. Uh, it's but the people. When, when you actually meet them, it's the nicest yeah. people, you know. Has I been to the years for you? Great, 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 great,
I'm nervous. Please I'm welcome nervous. From Scotland, is it Martin Coulson and Faye? Yeah. Let's see some hot snow in the middle as well. We may be far from home, but there's just something about this country. Something about these people that, that make you do things you never thought you could do. You okay, Martin? That was wow, the best wow, thing wow. ever, man. Oh, my God. That adrenaline rush. That is like, I, I that. that is one of the best experiences of my life. And the crowd they took us in. They was totally amazing. They wrapped their arms around us. Oh. I can't believe that I had such a, 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 negative, a, a negative stigma about yes, it all. And yes. then all of a sudden, I just got so overexcited yeah. by the idea of being on stage with this incredible like metal band, I was just like, oh my, I've never thought I'd ever. But it's that thing that we, there, keep, we keep finding as we go oh. throughout Norway. It's that thing of community. Like wherever we go here, there just seems a sense of like, stop your hang-ups. Yeah. Nobody's going to give you any grief. No. Just enjoy yourself. Yeah, just so and I'm really getting into this Norwegian culture. And it's midnight. It's midnight. <laughs> We're still so light. We've got a few hours to go, kid. <laughs> come on. Rock on, son. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Next time, it's the end of the road and our journey to the edge of Norway. Is this the end of Europe? Scott. Where we'll have a day with a pop princess in the Arctic Circle. I don't really drink beer at home. I'm a cocktail guy. Off to the next place. <laughs> and get up close and personal with the local wildlife. That's some set of teeth. What could possibly go wrong?